In the book of Ezekiel, the people of Israel, God's people, were not in a good place. They were in exile. They had been taken captive by another people, and their city was in total disarray. It says in Ezekiel, though, at chapter 36, verse 26, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I'll put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors and you will be my people and I will be your God. You know, a lot of us want to make New Year's resolutions at this time of year. We want to do all kinds of things and set all kinds of goals about how we're going to be a new person in the new year. New year, new you. But the reality is if we don't have God in our life giving us a new spirit, a new heart, we're probably going to fail by the end of the month of January. So I want to invite you today to consider if that's the thing that keeps slipping you up in life. Is it because you don't actually have God in your life? I want to invite you to pray with me to invite God to give you a new spirit, give you a heart of flesh instead of a heart of stone. Maybe you feel like your life is a mess, just like the people of Israel were saying. Would you pray with me now? Well, God, we need you. God, we confess that we are a mess without you. And so we pray along with my friends watching that you would give us a new spirit, that you would put your heart of flesh in us instead of a heart of stone, that you would renew us and make us more and more like you. Jesus, we need your help and we need you to do something new in us so that this year won't be like previous years, uh, so that this year we live with you and not trying to do it just on our own. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, if that's you, if you prayed about that, I'm so encouraged about what God is going to do in your life in 2019. We can't do much on our own, but with Jesus, we can be born again, made new, and his spirit in us makes us come alive. God bless you.